Hello everyone! Welcome again to another Debt-Free College Kid video. Uh, this week we'll be talking about how to prepare for tests, especially when you're stressed. So check out this video and I hope you enjoy! Yeah, so like I said, thank you all for coming and um, yeah, let's dive right in. So today is the start of finals week here at my college and I see people all around stressing out. They either are dreading the tests that they have to take or they, they wish that the finals week would be over and that spring break would come sooner uh, or some mixture of both. But um, yeah, nevertheless, they are going to need to take those tests. And if you're taking finals now, I hope that this will help give you some last minute advice that you can employ on the test to maximize your score. Um, so let's dive right in. Okay, so um, practical advice number one, know clearly what you don't know. Do this by taking as many practice questions or homework questions as you can and just quiz yourself. Quiz yourself, quiz yourself, quiz yourself until you almost treat it like a game where, oh, okay, do I know this question? Ah, no, I don't. Um, you will be exercising your mind's recall abilities as well as clarifying exactly where you're weak or where you need to study a little bit more. Um, I've heard some teachers suggest no, you really want to save the practice exams for when you're done studying what you already don't know. And that's good, but as you take your, the, the quizzes, you may very well find that you actually know a lot more than you thought you did at first. And so you'll end up saving more time by studying specifically those topics that you are the most weak in. And by doing that, you will be setting yourself up to get a better score when test, test day comes. Uh, number two is study. It's simple but effective. Um, once you have a very good idea of what questions you were weak in, what style of questions, what content you just flat out didn't understand and always had to reference the textbook for to get the answer, uh, those topics and questions you should especially study and look at, okay, how am I going to tackle this on the exam? Uh, what sort of thinking patterns do I need to have? What uh, ways of memorizing this data do I need? I know that some AMP students I know would take out a coloring book and just color and that would be their way of grouping the different body parts together and so they memorize it as a unit and then on the test they in their mind take that unit and deconstruct it in their mind and they end up doing better that way but yeah there are just uh, different ways you can study but as long as you study those things after you have quizzed yourself you'll be in good shape, good shape. Um, number three, have fun on test day. Think of it like a game show or like a puzzle. I, I enjoy thinking of it like a puzzle um, or any other challenge or game that you like. By doing that, you will have a lot less stress. Like if you notice, when you're having fun, it's sort of really hard to get stressed um, and smile you'll end up thanking yourself for it. Having clear thoughts is key to having a good exam and getting a score that is a fair reflection of what you know. So if you go into it like I did for one of my calculus exams, um, I was stressing out about like memorizing the specific formulas and uh, like understanding how I got to those formulas, and I f it felt like I was like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to just study anything and everything that the teacher said. 
um, or didn't say during the quarter. But then I realized that on test day, that stress wouldn't do me any good. So you just roll your shoulders back, take a deep breath, and do your best. Um, and I'm sure you've all heard that before, but start thinking of it like a game. And when I realized that, oh, wait a minute, this is a game, then it became more like a challenge, like it got deep into my competitive nature and I was competing against myself, like, okay, here's the question. You're on Family Feud and they're playing that all familiar tune and you have five seconds to answer. What's your answer gonna be? It just seems like I, get, I do better in that circumstance and I'm very confident that you will too. So please consider that. If you enjoyed this video or found it immensely helpful, please let me know what you enjoyed about it or how it helped you in the comments. Um, think about subscribing if you want more content to help you in your debt-free college journey, and I'll see you next time. Here's the weekend review.